Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I wanted to uh, work with another one-step equation that often confuses students uh, that they tend to get wrong. Um, so I see this equation, negative 7 plus x is equal to 13. And what most students I feel like do wrong is they go, oh look, um, this 7 and this x are adding. I see the plus in between them. And so the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I'll subtract 7 from both sides. Now, I suppose you could do that if you wanted to because it's true that we're allowed to do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. However, if you did this, it might be legal, but it's not solving the equation. Why? Because if you already have negative 7 and you take away 7 more, now you're really in debt. Now, instead of that 7 going away like you wanted to, now we've got a negative 14 over here. We haven't made this thing any prettier than it used to be. So even though I guess it would be legal, it wouldn't be very helpful. So let's talk about how we would solve this equation. Your goal here if you have something adding or subtracting with x, is to make that thing zero out. So realize what I have. I have a negative seven. If I want it to zero out, I'm gonna to have to go in the opposite direction of negative seven. I'm gonna to have to go positive seven. I have to add seven to both sides of the equation. Now let's see what happens. The negative seven and the positive seven do zero out. Now, uh, just to see what happens, I'm going to write the zero this time. I don't usually, uh, but I just want to show you what I mean. Zero is, and then I still have this plus and this x I haven't dealt with, and that would be equal to 20. But let's think about if you have zero plus x. Well, if you have zero plus anything, like zero plus five is five. Zero plus 11 is 11. Zero never does anything when you add. So zero plus x is just x. And so we do end up with x is equal to 20. And as always, if you are unsure of yourself, uh, you could always plug that answer that you got. Whoops, I didn't mean to erase it, I meant to circle it. You could always take that answer that you got 20, plug it back into the equation for x and see if it really does give me a true statement. So let's see, negative seven plus 20, is that really equal to 13? Well, I don't know. If I'm in debt $7 and then I get $20, well, I'll be able to pay off my debt. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. And I'll have $13 left. 13 is equal to 13. Check. That worked out for me. So indeed, X is equal to 20. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.